Hi, down here at the uh, Salmon River. I'm not down where I was yesterday. I'm actually back upstream, but you can see the river's flowing backwards today. I just missed the tidal boat by like probably half an hour. That's okay though, I was up in the park doing my job, right? I had to go back and uh, tag off an area so people wouldn't go in it because the power line was, had a tree falling over it. But that's cool. The river was actually flowing upstream. All icebergs, just like yesterday. It was flowing the other way, man. <laughs> yeah. Tide's coming in. <laughs> I'm actually right by a dike. Yeah. See the big steel boxes over there? Those are the old ones. They put new ones in. And there's actual uh, floodgates. So when it comes into a certain height, the floodgates shut. And uh, then when the pressure drops on the other side, they open up. Wow, look at that. The grass is just coated in ice. That's cool. Yeah, here's what the Salmon River looks like in February, right after a big ice storm. As you can see all the ice all over all the grass here. This is crazy. It's just coated in ice, man. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. There we have it, though. High tide. <laughs> You can see all the ice is uh, shaped in little circles. It's because as it goes, it kind of spins and rounds the edges off as it goes. You can hear it if you listen carefully. You know, I can probably hear the wind in the highway. The highway's like right here, Trans Canada. And there's an old hotel right there. Yeah, right here is a spot where a lot of people come to watch the tidal board wave come in as it comes around the bend here. Man, sorry, I missed it. Good. It's pretty cool. The river's flowing backwards right now. It's not to stay. One of the few rivers that does that in Nova Scotia. Looks like it's pretty much finished. It's all like standstill right now. Can you see that? It stopped. All the movement stopped. I came right at the peak. I wonder if it's going to start falling out there again. Now that would be cool. Well, there you have it, man. You got to see that. The river was flowing upstream and now it stopped. Well, that is cool. It may stay like this for an hour. Who knows? You can see it's all kind of coming to a stop up there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can kind of see a little bit of movement. And as it goes further out, you can see movement as it's further out there. Just little tiny bits. But it's all stopped here. I wonder how long it's going to sit here and then switch and go back out to sea. I'm probably five kilometers from where I was yesterday. Down that way, where I was that way. Um, the Nova Scotia trail system actually starts right there. And uh, yeah, I figure I'd come down here for a bit. Show you guys what it's like here. Uh, I hope those push power gets in there today and uh, takes that tree out because I wouldn't want to see somebody walk their dog fall down electrocute because that tree was just barely hanging on there. So, 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 like three quarters of the way down.
pretty cool, man. The river stopped. And frozen chocolate ice cubes. <laughs> This is the spot where all the tourists watch. Right there. No, just stand right there. There's a parking lot, an old hotel there. It's abandoned. Yeah. Maybe for sale. I don't know. Watch this, I'll stop filming and uh, the river will flow back. Oh. <laughs> couple seconds here and see if it does it. I'm sure the surge is still kind of going up, up, up. It'll probably take a good 15 minutes before the surge upstream stops. So maybe it's flowing back. I don't know exactly how it works. This, this one at one point, I'm sure it just stops and then it flows back. Up. Right now it's just kind of sitting there. flows out because it just sucks it all out to see like a big vacuum just going. If you saw my video yesterday it was going like 30 kilometers an hour easily. Yeah. I hear an airplane. Planes flying around here, a couple small ones. But anyways, there you have it. High tide, Salmon River. Thanks for watching. <laughs>